Hey YouTube, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this Aqua logo right here. We're going to be making this in a Adobe Photoshop CS5 but you can also use earlier versions like CS3 or CS4. So if we go ahead and open up Adobe Photoshop then we click on File, New, change the width to 500 and the height to 500 pixels then click OK. Then we're going to select our paint bucket tool and make sure that our foreground color is set to black. Click on our background and then we're going to be making a ellipse shape. So if we just select a right click our shape tool and then click ellipse tool. Now hold down shift and don't click far from the left top hand corner and drag that down. This is going to be our first ellipse. We're going to be making two. We'll get onto that later on. I'm, um, click the move tool and then move this so it's around about the same distance from all the corners or the sides. And then right click it in the layers tab over here and then click blending options check the inner glow change the inner glow color to a lightish blue and make the size around about around about 30 ish 35 I put mine at and the opacity to 75 and the blend mode stays at screen then we're going to check our outer glow and click on that we're going to make this the same color and we're going to lower the opacity, make that about 50 and change the size. Don't make the size too big so that it goes out of the uh, square that we've got here out of our image because if, you if you're going to use it in like a watermark or something then that'll look really weird. So once you've done that, click OK. And then we're going to duplicate this. So if we just right click, duplicate layer. Uh, you can name this shape 2 if you want. Then click OK. And then we're going to, when we've selected shape 2, we're going to hold Control or push and push T. Then we're going to hold down shift and drag this in. This is going to be our second shape here. So once you have that, we're just going to check that by clicking this tick button up here. Then we're going to select our move tool. And we're going to move this so it's about the same distance between this circle and the other circle. I'm just using my arrow keys to move this by the way. I might make that a little bit smaller too. So when we have that we're just going to right click shape 2 and then we're going to select blending options then we're going to click on outer glow and then we're going to hide the opacity to 100 percent and we're going to change the size down to around about around about 30 just under 30 and then we're going to click our inner glow style and we're going to click this gradient button right here and we're going to change our first blue just by clicking on there and then changing the color under stops to a darkish gray you'll see why we're doing this in a second we're going to click on the other side blue and we're going to change this to a darker gray so when we have that we're just going to click OK OK and then we're going to change our source under elements to center 
so then we have our circles of our logo then click OK so now what we're going to do is we're going to insert our text so if we're just going to click on our text tool and then we drag this down just to make a square around it and then we type the letter or letters that's going to be showing on our logo and for one letter probably around the size of I think it's about 350 and I'm going to change the font to one of my favorite fonts called Birth of a Hero so when we have that now we have our text in there but this does not look the best so if we just right click on our shape one and then click copy layer style and then we paste the layer style onto our text layer then we have some glow on our text if we just double click on our text or right click blending options and then we click on inner glow and we turn that off then we click on outer glow and we hide the opacity to 100% we change the size to about 20-ish once you've done that then hit OK then we're going to go when we have our text layer selected we're just going to hold control and then push T then we're going to rotate this text just by going up into one of the corners and then dragging that I rotate my A so then it's standing up vertically like that once you've done that hit the apply transform and then move this so it suits just make that just a little bit more vertical so when we have that now we're going to insert we're going to place in our gloss which is that just that nice just that nice oval there so if we just click on our if we just make a new layer just by clicking that button right there create a new layer button and then we go up to our select tool and then we select just right click on that and then click elliptical markway tool and then we create a nice a nice oval shape we can edit this later so it's not not that important right now um just change the feather to zero at the moment if and then we do that again so now we have that we're going to select our gradient tool so if we just right click on our paint bucket tool that we just used earlier and then select gradient tool and then change this to the first gradient style make sure this is black to white and then drag that down like so then we're going to change the layer style to screen and lower the opacity And once we have that, now we're going to hold control and press T and rotate that and place that up in the corner. Now we can edit this by clicking the boxes on the outside and then 